The Environmental Management Authority maintains that the fish kill in South Trinidad is in no way related to any form of poisoning. Today, the EMA conducted an aerial survey of a sheen along the Ohiti to Vasni area. Their findings indicate that there is no visible shoreline impact along the coastline and no dead fish in the Brighton Marine sub-area B block operated by Trinity Exploration and Production Limited. Mahalia Joseph has more. It was believed that the sheen was somehow linked to the fish kill in the southern area. The Environmental Management Authority said the well, ABM 37, is in the process of being decommissioned and is being monitored by the Certificate of Environmental Clearance issued in May 2016. The authority said it will continue its monitoring of the area along with the other state entities. But while the sheen is not directly linked to the fish kill, dead fish continues to wash up at Mosquito Creek. When sea news arrived on the scene, the shoreline was clear, with a few dead fish washing ashore. But around 11 a.m. on Thursday, environmental activist Edward Moody said more dead fish could be seen on the creek. We could have seen fishes scattered throughout the entire um, um, creek here, along the entire length of the creek. Um, they were not as much as before what we experienced in the last few days or even on the first day. Um, but nevertheless, uh, they were fish that looked like they died sometime yesterday, right? Um, which is kind of strange because normally the fishes that we see washing in would be fresh fish. Dead and rotting fish could also be seen on the creek from last week. Mr. Moody claims that they witnessed a leaking oil well out at sea on Wednesday. There was a lot of... Uh, bubbles coming out of the water, meaning that there was a lot of gas being released from the well. We smell um, the scent of rotten egg, which would mean hydrogen sulfide. Um, the, the water was coated with a thin, oily film, very thin. Um, it smelled similar to kerosene. Uh, we were asked to leave on, on approaching the site. We saw a boat coming straight at us. It was a petrochemical vessel. We were asked to leave the site. Um, then another boat came in and told us we had to move even further than the 300 feet, so we had to move a thousand feet off the side. He said herring and a few catfish were seen floating on the water surface. On Wednesday, the EMA, IMA and Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Clarence Rambarat, all stated that the results of laboratory testing support the initial investigation's findings which pointed to the likely cause of the fish kill being as a result of a fish dump of unwanted or spoiled catch by trawlers and not as a result of an oil spill, red tide or the presence of Corexit. Mahalia Joseph, C News.